continue our look back at the 1967 rebellion with the Detroit Historical Society's Oral History Project. Here's retired U.S. District Court Judge Gerald Rosen. I remember several things. I remember going to the edge of our, the end of our block, which was only a mile north of Eight Mile, and sitting with our neighbors and my younger brother watching the black smoke furl up into the air uh, and just being amazed by what was happening, that people would be burning, you know, their own stores in their neighborhood and their own their own homes and uh, I, I just found it uh, I, I found it almost uh, incredible to believe that this was going on um, and I remember sitting and talking with uh, I remember sitting and talking with my neighbors and people wondering whether this was going to come north of eight mile you know whether this whether the rioting and the looting that was taking place was going to spread, whether it was going to come north of Eight Mile. And I have a very distinct memory as well of, of course, later in the week, seeing the newsreel photos of the tanks. Uh, the president and the governor had ordered uh, the National Guard uh, and federal troops into Detroit to restore order, or to attempt to restore order. And I remember asking my dad if we could drive down and see the tanks. My dad didn't think that was a very good idea. Uh, and I have one other uh, really, uh, uh, you know, sort of strong image of that. And uh, I was a, a huge baseball fan. And Willie Horton, who was the Tigers' left fielder, uh, I remember reading about him uh, after the Sunday doubleheader. Uh, I think he had hit a home run, um, and uh, the articles were that right after the second game, he didn't even bother to change. He just got in his car and he drove down to where the riots had started, which was which was where he had grown up, around 12th Street, I think it was, and he had gotten up on his car and uh, exhorted his neighbors and friends to stop looting and stop burning. Uh, I don't know how much of an impact it had, but I that I remember very, very well.